Ty Jerome, national champion, potential NBA first round draft pick, enemy of the sports media? The UVA basketball program has hardly been the champion of sports media during the Tony Bennett era. And while Jerome hasn't gone so far as to be disrespectful, his responses to some of the more ridiculous questions seem to express more than mild irritation. In the run of times, Ty, uh, were you aware that a, a 16 had never won before and did you just kind of dismiss that ahead of time? Um, I think everyone's aware of that. Uh, yeah, thanks for bringing that up again, but uh, yeah, I was aware of it. Now that Jerome is a national champion, he's using the opportunity to go on a victory lap through his favorite media critics. Sports journalist Pat Ford became well known as a consistent critic of Virginia basketball, especially under coach Tony Bennett. He emphasized his opinions of the team in a piece titled, Historic Loss Shows Virginia Was Built to Fail in March. After Virginia's win in the national championship game, Ty Jerome found his way over to Ford and said, you're going to have to write a different article now. Ford responded by doing just that, writing a new piece titled, Virginia's Redemption Story Becomes One for the Ages. Another major skeptic of Virginia's basketball program, Mike Francesa, said back in February that the team would inevitably fail in March. You know, I'm a huge Virginia guy. Oh, okay. We'll Abby never win a championship more. with this team, though. I, they can't play <laughs> offense. Ty appeared on Francesa's radio talk show last week after the championship win. You know, when you got, when, as you guys both prepared for each other, everyone was thinking, oh, the game could be in the 40s. These are great defensive teams. Both offenses really, uh, I thought your offense probably played better in the first 30 minutes of the Texas Tech game than it did probably a lot of the tournament. You guys executed really well in the first 30 minutes of that game. Yeah, well, I mean, that's some, um, you know, a our offensive numbers, offensive efficiency, I think we're in the top five in the country. We have been all year. So, you know, I'm sure a lot of people don't do their proper research of college basketball before they speak. But um, Oh, that's for did. me. But, you know, the bottom line is it's about – it's not about that because that's about beating bad teams. It's about making big shots. And, you know, you guys did have some lulls, though. So I don't worry about who, what you do against, you know, some team that you beat by 40. I, those numbers are all skewed. I want to see it in the big games. And you guys miraculously made some shots. Not every shot, but the lead that you blew against Auburn versus the lead against Texas Tech. Which one was more surprising to you that it dissipated so quickly? I mean, real quick, we also play in the ACC, so we don't beat all those teams by 40. I understand. But, uh, I understand uh, but, that. But go yeah, ahead. Right, right. Finally, in an interview with Sports Illustrated, Jerome took aim at one of the most well-known sports personalities, Stephen A. Smith, saying, I just feel bad for Stephen A. Smith. He said he hated watching us, and he had to watch us in every single round of the tournament. I feel so bad for him. Let this be a message to NBA sports journalists everywhere. Ty Jerome is on his way.